Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleByGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the KJV Traveris from Schuyler Bibles in marbled mahogany calfskin. First thing I notice when I open this box is that it's a clamshell. I like that. So this is calfskin with edge lined liner that is leather. It has a, a gilt line and is perimeter stitched and it has a yap. Now this one the yap hasn't fully taken shape yet because they air shipped this to Schuyler and uh, so they can have photos for the website. This is the one that you see on their website. But the one that uh, everyone else is getting has been in the paper wrapper for a lot longer so it should take its shape more. It is a little bit of a smooth cover but it's not a not overly soft. It doesn't feel like it would scratch easily to me. It looks like it has a nice grain. It feels elegant. The Jerusalem cross on the front. See six spine ribs. Gold printing. Move that box out of the way. Gold printing on the on the spine. And then we have three multicolored ribbons, brown and tan. Look really nice. Art gilt edges. Let's open him up here. Now when you see this, that is on purpose. I've heard a lot of people ask about that. That page is on purpose. Don't try to pull that apart because that tab is glued inside there. So we have our presentation pages. It includes marriages, births, deaths, and then we get into our Bible. This is 28 GSM paper. This is Indopaque from France, milled in France. <clears throat> so it's printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, typeset by 2K Denmark. I'm not going to pronounce that because that's just that's outside of my range. Um, this was designed by Schuyler Bibles, evangelicalbible.com. And we've got our introduction that explains what this Bible is for, what it is, the epistle dedicatory, and then we have the uh, translators to the reader. I'm so glad they added this in here. Very glad. I like that they keep it. And then we have our Bible. Now it is a single column, large print. Basically, this is a personal size large print Bible. That's pretty much what it is. And that's my favorite size for a Bible, for an all-around Bible. Single column paragraph, large print. It, it is a 10-point font. It doesn't look small by any means. It has a lot of uh, space between the lines. has around 14 words per line, 12 to 14. And then the main thing that you'll notice is that the verse and chapter numbers are in the margin. So it takes it out of the text and puts it in the margin. The purpose of this Bible primarily is for reading. And for that, it is, it is great. Um, the, the secondary purpose of this Bible is to still be usable for other things. So in other words, if you're looking for a verse, if you don't have any verse numbers at all, you don't know where anything is. But this does give you some, some guidelines to find the verses. For example, if I'm looking for verse 7. Well, I know it starts with a capital letter, so there, it's just right there. So it's on the same line. So all the, all the verses are printed on the same line. Every chapter starts with a uh, drop cap, and the chapter number is in red. The, all the extra material is in red. Our page number, the material across the top. I like that design for the, the book name. It, it is printed with line matching. Does have a little more show through than, than what I like, but at the same time, it's not too much for me, and it, it's noticeable. Um, but it is because the font is darker than most fonts. When we do a comparison, uh, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. And then across the top, we have the book name, chapter numbers, and then we have a page summary for every page. And then this one has poetry. So rather than having just just paragraph. We have a poetic setting, which is an offset text. So when you get over here to somewhere like, there's something more in Genesis. When you get somewhere like uh, Job or there's something in Samuel, the prayer of Hannah. Let's see, we get over here in Psalms. Now, if, if you're used to Psalms in a modern translation, then you're already used to this. Because a lot of Bibles already have the verse numbers in the margin. The only difference that you're going to see really is in the prose section.
And this is not you know, a brand new design. This has been done before. It's already a proven design. It's been used for years. There are Bibles that are on the market right now today that, that have this design. And I like this design a lot. Here's the red letter. This is a red letter edition. It is the same red as the um, highlights. And then we also see poetry in the New Testament. And that's something that's unusual for the other KJVs that have paragraph. I like having poetry all the way through. And then when you see a quote, it will be offset like that. So there's the prayer of Jesus teaching how to pray. Let's go on over here somewhere else. There's something in Acts. So that's a quote. It is an offset text. Now, I don't have any issues turning this paper. It's 28 GSM. It's easy to deal with, easy to turn. The show through is fine. It's just more noticeable than normal because it's darker. I'll make that trade. I like dark font. So this is primarily for reading. And I have read a lot of this of this Bible for the past week. I've read a lot in this and I enjoy every bit of it. The, I like the size. It's easy to carry. It's easy to handle as an all around carry Bible. But it's still large enough that I can I can uh, read from it with no trouble at all. Easy to follow along with anybody. So if I'm looking for like verse five, it's going to start with a capital letter. So there's verse five. Verse six is going to start right there at the beginning of a of a, a new sentence verse 7 it's going to start right there verse 8 it's going to start right there it's easy to find easy to find i actually had a little bit more difficulty finding the end of a verse than i did the beginning when i was preaching from it and i did preach from this it's not difficult i wouldn't say it's ideal but it's not difficult it does take a little extra an extra thought you put a little bit more thinking into it but it's worth it to me. But at the same time, that's not its purpose. Its purpose is to be usable for other things, but primarily to be reading. Red letter for Revelation. Poetic setting for Revelation. I like that. Nice. And then we have our concordance. Now this is the same concordance as in the Canterbury, except it has two major differences. The first is that it's larger print. And the second is that the red and black have switched where the Canterbury puts the the word in red and the verse numbers in black. This is done the other way around. And then we have Smythe Zone, of course, has no issues staying open anywhere. No issues at all. Twelve pages for notes. This is the same 28 GSM Indopake. So same as the regular Bible. And then we have our scholar maps. I love these colors in these maps. And this is a thicker paper, non-glossy. I like these maps a lot. And then map index, which I, I'm very glad they include a map index. I always want a map index. And then a few of the thicker end sheets. Let's, let's weigh and measure. Now, for measuring, they always give the block size, and this, since it does have a yap, the measurements are going to, if I measure the cover, it's going to be off a little bit. Uh, so we're, we're looking at five and three quarters. If that bends down any, we've got maybe nine, if that's bending any, and then we have an uh, inch and a quarter. To me, that's the perfect size. It's excellent for carry, excellent for holding and reading. I read from this from behind the wheel in the car when I'm sitting in the parking lot. No issues at all. And let's do some weighing. Two pounds, 1.4 ounces. So yeah, there's the Schuyler Traveris. I like that. The, it, the leather is thick. feels really thick. Easy to hold open, no issues at all. Easy to read from, nice and dark. Easy enough to preach from if you want to, if, if you want to preach from a single column. No issues finding the first 
uh, word of a verse. I actually had more issues finding the ending of the verse, but that's just, I just had to keep going back and making sure. It's no, no big deal. No problem at all. It has enough inner margin to bring the text out of the gutter. So the, the pages actually lay flat. There's no bending into the gutter. It actually bends more when I'm holding it that way to show you, but it doesn't bend into the gutter. So I don't lose my place. It doesn't have to wrap around. Ribbons are nice and long. The first I want to compare it to is the Canterbury. And there's a look at the thickness and the footprint. Now when we're seeing this footprint, we're seeing yap. So it's a little bit different from what it actually is in, in real life. So let's take a look here. The Canterbury is 11 point font. And this one is a 10 point font. So there's how they compare. Canterbury is a 36 GSM and they both have the same maps and the same concordance. Let's take a look at the concordance. A little bit different design on the concordance. They have the same information. But the Traveris is a little bit larger print and they've flip flop the colors on the design. There's how they compare. Here's the personal size Canterbury and how they compare. Close to the same thickness. Really close. So there's our font. Same paper in both. Here's another KJV in paragraph. This is the Clarion. Clarion's quite a bit thicker, noticeably thicker, noticeably shorter, short and stocky. And also you'll notice a, a pretty good difference in the font size. The Clarion has the same paper, but the font is not as dark. Get over to Psalms. Somewhere around in there. The font's not quite as dark, and uh, here's how they compare. Here is the New Cambridge Paragraph Bible, which is very similar in size, almost the same in text block almost the same layout is very similar but the main difference uh, being that the uh, the size of the font is noticeably different here's how they compare Here is the heirloom, single column heirloom, just to give an idea of how they compare. There's their text block. And then that, that's a that's a goat skin versus the calf skin. And then here's same paper, 28 GSM Indopake. There's how they compare. Noticeably different. Noticeably larger font in the Traveris. And since this Traveris is made for reading, here is how it compares to a reading Bible. 
and this is the ESV Reader's Edition. Now the difference here, of course, is that it does mark chapters, but it does not mark verse numbers. So if you wanted to use one of these to uh, to read and follow along, you could follow along in the Treveris. It, it's very difficult to follow along in the ESV. There's how they compare. This one's almost not really usable with common reading plans while the Traveris is. And last one. Here is the Cambridge Concord. And the reason I'm comparing it is because the Traveris is based on the Concord size because, well, it's, it's an excellent size. It, it's the perfect size for an all around Bible because it's not a large Bible, but it's not a small print either. And it has a lot of tools. So the uh, Traveris follows that sizing to provide a good a good all-around Bible with a good all-around size. So here's how they compare. Darkness is a little darker in the um, Concord, but the um, fun is a little, a noticeably larger in the Traveris. So pros and cons. As a carry Bible, I find it to be excellent because I can follow along with someone. I can find the verses easy enough. I can I can even preach from it easy enough. It's, I wouldn't say it's my ideal preaching Bible, but that's not what it's for anyway, so that's okay. Um, but like verse 4 starts right there. Verse 5 starts right there. Verse 6 starts right there. I mean, it's easy enough. There's no problem at all to find the verses. It's easy to follow along. If you need it for study, if you're trying to study from it with references and footnotes, th there are no references and footnotes. Um, but it does have concordance and maps. So, you know, that it, it's not ideal for uh, study, but at the same time, it's, it's not un undoable either. It, it, you can study from this. Um, The size is great for carry. The font is excellent for reading. I love the dark print. I love the spacing between the lines. I love the, the, the size of the font. So readability is excellent. The main thing that feels missing to me is a glossary. That's something that we have in the Schuyler Canterbury. The regular size, the personal size, and in the wide margin. But then this one doesn't include that. So it's, you know, that, that just feels a little bit missing. I would like to have a uh, glossary that would make this a more usable Bible. At the same time, it's not a deal breaker. It would just be better. It would just be good. But, you know, no, not that big of a deal. Supplied words are in italics, which I like because that it does, it does help. I mean, I know, I, I realize that, um, Italics is not perfect, but I would still rather have it than not. I don't find the verse numbers distracting when I'm reading. I just tune them out and I keep reading. I actually read more uh, without them. So yeah, I think this is an excellent size for an all-around Bible. It's a great reader, excellent for carry, excellent for follow, following along with someone. I like it. I highly recommend it. This is one of my favorite Bibles in production, if not my favorite actually. I like this Bible a lot. I'm going to be carrying this as my primary carry Bible for a while. I'm, I'm liking this one. EvangelicalBible.com did supply this in exchange for an honest review. And I will place links in the notes where you can see a lot more detail. See the written review with a lot more detail. And a lot of photos. And a lot more of my thoughts on using it. Thanks for watching.